We're getting our gear put together right now, and Brandon, we're starting to determine what we're going to use out there. The ocean is a large body of water, and it can be really difficult to find these fish. So let's talk about location first, because in my opinion, if you aren't near the fish, no matter what you use, you can't catch them. So what type of water are we looking for? Well, you know, right now, Cody, we're in the middle of July. So when I came down here in the middle of June, we were normally fishing north. Okay. North being like uh, north of the North Jetty, Lighthouse, Condo, Sea View, sure. Long Beach. Okay. Uh, we had a lot of warm water now because we have El Nino this year, so it's really pushed that warm water and close to the shore. So we're going to be fishing the top tier of the water column, and we're actually going to fish south. Okay? okay. So as the Columbia River goes out into the ocean, you got the red line, you got the green line. Green line going out to buoy one, red line going out to two, out to CR buoy. Right. Okay, everybody's heard of the CR buoy fishery. Yep. Um, that's where we're actually going to go out and start today. Okay. Uh, when I was out there the other day, it was absolutely glassy calm down there, whereas north was a little bit bumpy mm -hmm. and uh, plenty of fish around. So, so let's talk about our gear now and, and what we're going to be using. Now, we are heading south. There's probably going to be more coho than there are Chinook. Let's talk about the gear and then we'll go into colors and baits and lures. Perfect. Okay. So this is a pretty easy, simple setup here. There's a couple ways you can fish this. This diver I'm, using, um, I'm showing off here, this is a Delta diver. Mm -hmm. There are a couple different divers you can use, a Dipsy diver, uh, a Deep Six diver, right. Pink Lady. There are a lot of different divers out on the market. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of a Delta diver fan, and a lot of us guys on here that do fish every day, we do fish Delta divers, because we know they're, where they're going to fish, we know they're going to hold the depth line where we put them at, um, and they've got some really good color combinations that we do like. They do, and, and they pull at a lot steeper angle. Yep. And so when you're fishing a lot of rods, you know, four, five, six rods, you can fish them almost straight up and down, and they aren't scoping out and they are getting tangled up in everybody else's gear. Now, why are guys using divers, not leads? Uh, well, leads work really great, but when you get a really rough ocean, when that rough, you know, your boat's kind of listing left and right, back and forth, those leads get lifted up so much, drop back down so much, you miss a lot of bites. Gotcha. This diver helps, with this board, helps keep everything right where it needs to be out in the water pump. Sure. Where it first the lead going up and down, and you get yourself all tangled up. Yep. I've used leads before, I used light leads, and I put them way out the back and have a lot of scope in my line, and they work fine. But uh, if you're gonna fish them close, this is the way to go. Yeah, gotcha. Okay. So let's move on down to your flashes. I know there's a lot of flashes out there on the market, and they all work great. Yep. But you and I both, we've been running these Yakima Bay flashes here for a while, and they've really come a long ways here in the last few years, especially with these new blades. I can see it right now, that sun coming off of it, just in this low light condition, that UV coming off the edge of the blade, that's nothing to do with the tape. So let's talk about that and what colors you're using. Yeah, absolutely. So like I said, these are the Yakima Bait Flashers. This is the medium sized flasher here. And if you can kind of zoom in, you kind of see there's a little bit of a purple blue tint to the plastic, right. and this is a UV plastic. Sure. Okay, they actually uh, injection mold these uh, into a press and they put the grommets on these. So, but here I think I've got just a normal four foot, 30 pound leader, and I run a, a two hook uh, system here for the fishing our anchovies. Okay. Okay. And uh, no sense of a fixed rig, and then what size are those hooks? You know, I, I was using two aughts earlier this year, and now I moved into three and four aughts. Uh, I found that my two aughts was missing a few more bites, so now I moved a little bigger of hooks, I've been more successful. I'm running a three trailing hook and a four aught front hook. These are of course barbless. Yep. Okay, and I just tie them in a fixed rig, and I use about an inch and a half between the gaps of the uh, bottom of the shank of the four aught and the top of the three aught. Yep, and that's because of the way that we hook up these anchovies. It's it's a pretty fast and furious bite out there when yep. you find the fish, and the way that we hook up these anchovies is, is pretty simple. Yep, absolutely. Well, let's get our gear put together, head out there, man. I'm ready to start whacking this fish. Let's, let's go to the bar, man.